Hey guys, what's up? It is your pal Keith, here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got a real treat for you guys today. You might uh, already know what it is, just based off the finish, but uh, before I tell you, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. If you're new, hit like, hit subscribe, come join 3,000 friends already in this community we comment a lot, we talk about these guitars, all the features, the stories behind them, and I show you up close details as if you were holding them in your very own hand at your local guitar shop. So you know what a real one looks like, what a good example looks like, what all the little features are like. So yeah, come join the circle of friends. So this is the 2010 Gibson slash Appetite for Destruction signature Les Paul. They only made 600, yeah, 600 of these. This one has the very best top I have ever seen on any of them. They're a highly figured triple A flame top, but uh, not all are the same quality. No two are exactly the same. And this one has just got excellent striping all the way through and you can kind of see that 3d holographic effect as we move the camera back and forth you can see stripes disappearing and appearing really really cool um what can we say about it so 600 of them made from my experience looking high and low all over the planet for these slash signature models from what i can tell this is the most sought after um, I'm not talking about, you know, the, the crazy custom shop signed ones that people are asking like 10 grand for. I'm just talking about like out of all the different ones that came out, the Anaconda, the Vermilion, the Rosa Corsa, the Plain Tops. From what I can see, this Appetite for Destruction one is the one that everybody wants. And the pricing definitely indicates that as well. It seems like they're making more and more of these signature models with each new run. You know, when they started out, they'd make a few hundred. Now they're making like 2,000 of a new model. So it's uh, nice to get one of these special earlier rare models. You can see 2010 there. Let's go ahead and put it down while we talk about... Some of the stuff it's got. So it's got his signature uh, Alnico 5 pickups that just sound incredible. We've recorded with these pickups a lot. You've got the proper like Clouson Deluxe vintage style tuners. This is based off of a Les Paul replica he has actually. Slash has three replicas that were not built by Gibson. They were built by Luthiers out in California. You can read up about those. So this is a copy of his copy that he recorded during the uh, Appetite for Destruction album. Tone Pro's Bridge and Stop Tailpiece. And then obviously you've got his killer skull and signature headstock logo. That wouldn't have been on the original. But uh, yeah, his replica, replica has a Gibson logo on it, Les Paul model logo on the headstock and this one is a very true to form has kind of a I don't know, they say it has like an aged patina to it I don't really think so um but the this kind of amber finish is very similar very close to what his actual one is like it's a very special color I haven't ever seen one with this exact quite um color to it yeah the little cap here for the pickup selector uh got busted in shipping to me which is a little, little bit of a bummer but you're talking about something that costs like two dollars to replace so not the end of the world this one's got its original um paperwork i don't know why like it seems like 75 percent of the time gibson never checks or fills out any of this stuff i think that's really weird but maybe you guys know better than me why that is so common with them beautiful rosewood fretboard 
acrylic trapezoid inlays. You've got nice binding over the frets. This thing is in excellent, excellent condition. Let me just go ahead and move the paperwork over here. I'll show you the outside of the case. So you've got the Gibson USA case with the slash logo. The case is in outstanding condition. There's no issues with any of the latches or anything like that. Um, as far as like marks on the guitar, this thing's really close to mint, guys. I looked all over it, and what did I find? There's like, there's like a little, they're all really tiny things in the lacquer. So let me just, uh, try and doing this with, so there's like, there's like a little thing right there. Very tiny. Um, is there anything else? I mean, mega, mega tiny thing there. It's like not noticeable again, like. You know, it's only if you catch it in a certain light and it's the tiniest <clears throat> imperfection on the back here. Yeah, no buckle rash or anything like that. You know, this hasn't been gigged at all. Um, super tiny little spot right there. Almost like what you would expect to find in a guitar shop. Some of these things are just imperfections that you would get taking it off the wall one time. Um, there's, this almost looks like it's part of the grain, right? Can you see it there? There you go in the light right there. Um, that's about it. And then there's a tiny little, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a, what you, you can't, you can't see it now. The, the, the camera probably won't even pick it up, but there's like a little scratch in the lacquer. I don't even know if you call it a scratch, just a. It's just like right. Uh, let me try and do this. This is tough to do with one uh, hand. Come on, can we focus? I might not see it. You can kind of see it like right there, right above my fingernail. It's got one. It's got a little, a little like scratch from there to like there. Very, very hard to see. But uh, yeah, guys. This is the Appetite for Destruction model. There's your serial number, made in USA stamp. Everything's correct. Your open book headstock shape. Beautiful guitar. I'm really glad to have gotten this. I've had almost every model now. I don't have the, the one that just came out. I think they've got like a purple one out or something. Everybody's using purple these days. Metallica is all doing purple. But, um... Yeah, really cool to have and be able to share with you guys and show you up close and in person. All right. I'm going to get going because I've got a ton of videos to do. If you want to buy this guitar, it's for sale at EssexRecordingStudios.com. Also on Reverb.com, our good friends there. They host our site and take care of us, so we got to take care of them. And other than that, if you want to chat, just leave some comments or hit me up on Facebook. Facebook is great. It's Essex Recording Studios or on Instagram. I just had like five messages today from you guys on Instagram. It's awesome. Uh, and then Twitter, if you want to tweet, we don't use that so much, but that's at Essex Recording over there. Other than that, guys, stick around on the channel. We've been smashing it. We, we got over 500 new subscribers this month. We had one of our videos top 113,000 views which is totally crazy. And you guys have just been killing it on here. Really appreciate all the support, the comments, everything. I know I've been pretty lame about replying to a lot of them lately, but we got an influx of like, I mean, there was one day where I had, I got like 400 comments in one day and I've just got a ton of stuff to do. But I'll always see them, like them at the very least. And some one of these days in the next week, I'm just going to sit around for an hour and, and, respond to everybody but thanks a lot guys appreciate it take care stick around on the channel more guitar videos coming up right after this